House come to order. The invocation today will begin by the Honorable Representative Love. She's a state representative from the 10th District. Will members, staff, and guests in the gallery please rise? Representative. Thank you. Standing in the gap of Reverend Candia Milton, I give you this prayer. Omnipotent Creator, our ever present source of all that is good, we acknowledge your divine love, grace, and mercy that has richly sustained us and brought us thus far by faith. As we stand here at this 400 year landmark in American history, known as the Quad Centennial, we ask, O oh Lord, to keep us ever mindful of the tremendous debt we owe to the first courageous African men and women who landed on the shores of Point Comfort, Virginia in late August, 1619. We remember those first African Americans because without their sacrifice of labor and limb, without their will to survive, without their spiritual resolve, without their sweat, blood, pain, and tears, without their unyielding resilience and self-determination, there would be no America as we know it today. We remember their selflessness to adapt to a new language, a new culture, a new religion, to build a new nation, a nation founded on the stated values of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and for all the children of God. O oh Lord, we honor our ancestors for their spirit of resistance in the face of violent slavery, Jim Crow laws, and lynchings. We honor our ancestors for resisting oppression. We honor their spirit of resistance which paved the way for a better life for all of us here today. Dear God, we pray that you fortify and undergird this honorable body with the strength and courage to create the type of legislation and laws that are fair and just and in the best interest of all your children. Instill in each member the wisdom necessary to advance your purpose. Remove all the barriers that may impede progress toward your will. These prayers we pray in the name of our standard bearer, the revolutionary Holy Spirit, I say and I amen. <laughs> 